host for this evening's episode of Professional Practice. Tonight's episode, we'll be discussing the importance of safety, pertaining to the eyes and the mouth, and what you as a viewer can do to keep safe. Are you tired of getting fecal matter in your eyes, sawdust after a hard day's work, food in the fingers after fighting for that last pork chop at the dinner table? And for those in the medical field, are you tired of getting vomit, bodily fluid, and needles in your eyes? We're going to show you how to keep safe. And for the mouth, are you tired of getting dust, asbestos, foreign body matter, bottom fluid, fecal matter, and airborne debris in your mouth, we're going to show you how to keep safe with those as well. First, we're going to be doing a demonstration on the N95 mask, how to properly fit to wear one. Next, we will do the same thing with the surgical mask. And finally, we will be showing you the proper technique to don a pair of safety glasses. I hope you find this video educational. Today, my lovely assistant, Ali, is going to show you the proper technique for putting on and the removal of the N95 mask. Putting on the mask begins with good hand hygiene. Next, it is important to choose the correct mask size and ensure that there are no defects in the mask. If the wearer has a beard, a proper seal may be unattainable. In this event, you must shave. To put it on, hold the mask in the palm of your hand and with the nose piece at your fingertips and the head straps hanging freely below your hand. Position the N95 mask to your chin and the nose piece up. Continue holding the mask in place. Pull the bottom strap up over your head and position it below your ears. And pull the top strap up over your head and rest it high on the back of your head. If you have long hair, the straps must be positioned below the hair. For proper placement, untwist the straps and position the mask low in your nose. Using both hands, mold the nose piece to the shape of the nose by pushing it down and out. Do a fit check by placing both hands completely over the mask and exhale. If air leaks out, you need to readjust the nose piece and straps. Do a fit check each time you need to make a readjustment. To remove the mask, pull the bottom strap over your head. While still holding the strap, use your other hand to pull the top strap over your head. Do not touch the front of the mask. While still holding the straps, discard the mask in a nearby waste bin. Once the mask has been removed, perform hand hygiene again. Now my lovely assistant Vinny, who is also my roommate, will describe you the proper technique to don surgical mask and not properly how to remove it. Take it away buddy. Before putting on the surgical mask, perform good hand hygiene. Begin by ensuring that the mag strip is facing upwards. With this in place, tie the upper string at the top of your head with a shoelace knot. If you have trouble with this step, ask a coworker for assistance. If the surgical mask still proves to be too complicated, you may want to consider a different mask or a different profession. Next, tie the lower string around the back of the neck. Ensure that the mag strip is sitting on the bridge of the nose, as well as the rest of the mask fully covered the mouth and stretched gently over the chin. 
You should change the mask every four hours or if it becomes moist or damaged. To remove this mask, undo the knots and hold the mask by the two straps. While holding the mask by the straps, ensure that you do not touch the front of the mask. After the mask has been used, dispose of it in a waste bin. And finally, my assistant Emily will show you the proper technique to putting on and taking off a pair of safety glasses. You got this. Hi, the tiger. Open up the safety glasses and adjust the arms for a proper fit. When putting on the safety glasses, ensure that you do not hit your eye. To remove the safety glasses, simply take them off and fold them up. Now that we've shown you the proper techniques to putting on, wearing, and the removal of the protective equipment, we will now demonstrate how this protective equipment keeps you safe from hazards in the workplace as well as everyday life. So this here is an example of the many ways you may use the goggles and the surgical mask together to give you maximum protection against bodily fluid getting in your mouth and your eyes. As you can see, his eyes and mouth have been protected. This here is a more practical use of the combination of the safety glasses and the N95 mask. This concludes tonight's episode of Professional Practice. I hope it was a very educational experience for you, and I hope you'll tune in next week. Until then, stay safe and be classy. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Matthew Bowie. You can actually shout down there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't. <laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Matthew Bowie. And I'll be. Thank you. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Matthew Bowie. And on tonight's episode of Professional Practice. <laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Matthew Bowie. Tonight I'll be your host for professional practice. Day three. Blood, needles, and other. Deep four. Blood, hot. My name is Matthew Bowie, and on tonight's episode of Professional Practice, Seven. Good evening. 
My name is Matthew Dean. And I'll be your host for this evening's episode of Professional Practice. This episode will be pertaining to the safety issues pertaining to the eyes and the mouth. If you're tired of getting sawdust in your eyes from on the job work, bugs in your eyes while walking down the street, food and fingers while fighting for that last piece of food at the table. And for you people in the medical field, if you're tired of getting vomit, blood, needles, and other bodily fluid, including fecal matter in your eyes, or you need to in the mouth. Today's side. Taste. Eight, I think. Probably. Good evening. My name is Matthew.